pass the ball if you're man enough to throw me out of this room. Hey, we're trying to talk about, like, actual statistics and analysis and income right now. What, can you get the fuck out of here? <laughs> <laughs> That's so visceral. All right, which one's the most menacing? Why is it forearms from Ben 10? It's forearms from Ben 10. Oh my god, it's the Fish King from the last movie. Who are you? I am Digimon Horseman. I don't think that's how your name is actually pronounced. Seeking spell! Find me one soul who is worthy! And then it finds him the least worthy guy on the planet, just like the Green Lantern ring. It also takes over 40 years. Milk and Mart. Oh, I'm going to Milk and Mart for Milk and Mart. No, 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 no. That's my lunch, kid! If I were the cop, I would be most mad about my lunch being taken. Same. This is one of the most, like, once we fly and find out the full context, it's one of the most fucked up scenes in the DCU. It is. Like, more fucked up than the Zod neck snap. More fucked up than jeans in the tub. Like, this is, like, the single darkest, saddest thing in the DCEU. Because it's real. Yeah, he says it's Willie Batson. Do you think his full legal name is William Wabatson? I think you're my mom. You sure about that? No need to crush this kid's spirit. All right, let's get the spiel. Just know that me and Rosa, we get it. We were foster kids back in the day. Oh, we back in the dark ages. Girl! I'm gonna fire him immediately. I really like the characterization of his foster parents. Yeah, they put in a lot of effort. They put in a lot of effort to make these guys feel real and fleshed out. Like, they could have just been background non-entities, but, like, man, I feel, like, I feel, like, for them when he goes missing. It's like, oh, man, you are just trying to do right by this kid, and he just fucking hates you. We're home! That's what happens when you suck. He's Noob Master. Is it Noob Master 69? Yeah, that's my headcanon. That guy's a Noob Master. They're playing from across the universe. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. That is an absurd amount of smoke. I feel bad for the guys writing Shazam 2, and every year that passes because of COVID, they have to rewrite the ages of all the kids slightly. Oh yeah, that's the uh, the old battering. He used it to kill a wall. <laughs> he really took down that pillar. <laughs> And right here are the tattered remains of that dude he yoked through three walls in Africa. <laughs> I have his whole corpse. I have his spine. It's all that survived. And in the closet, it's General Zod's corpse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm building Doomsday Part 2, or... Doomsday! Thank you, Ian. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, okay. Let me see if I remember all their names. They just introduced us. So it's Freddy, Pedro, Darla, Mary. Sure. Eugene. Thank you for the last one. I didn't remember Darla, so between the two of us. I got just Billy Batson. Like they were looking at me, making me think things. Like horrible things. Stay in bed all day. Eat lots of cake. Lust is my favorite sin. Right behind enjoying anything at all. What's, what's happening? I think I saw the communist hammer and sickle in there. This blinding light all around me. And I felt like I was getting pulled out. Crikey, I felt like I was getting hit by alligator. Fell right into a black manta. But not the superhero, a big black one. Almost ran into them dingoes that ate my baby. And then the kangaroo kicked me all the way out of my country. I don't know how much of our offensive Australian accents we should keep in. Probably all of them. Who cares? We're offending the Australians. They lost a war to emus. This is real. <laughs> yeah, I better touch the door. What a smart idea. Why does it work? You don't remember me, do you? You're Sinestro from Green Lantern. You know what it's like for a child to be told you'll never be good enough? I didn't say it like that, but... Are you projecting your daddy issues on me, Thad? Now I shall make Green Lantern 2. Yes. No. Yes. No. Those are parallaxes. Or paraly, if you want to do the plural Parallaxy. <laughs> Bunk. <laughs> <laughs> so why are the seven deadly sins real? Because that's like a Catholic thing. Um, but the, this is the world of Greek gods. They're mixing mythologies here. I mean, I respect that. I like the idea of the monomyth. Yeah, see, there, there's definitely a hammer and sickle in there. Hey, wait, that's where the that's where the thing was. The caterpillar. Yeah. yeah. Rule of three. The post credit scene's the third appearance of it. Wow, that's that's fucking crazy. I did not notice that. Is there an old wizard here? Is there a Digimon horseman here? I heard he smells like bitch. He fucking what? I'm here. Shazam? And then he turns into Chuck. You guys know how we talk about if you defeat your boss in battle or if you eat your boss, you become your boss? Imagine if it was, all right, you say my name and you become me. Dude, Jeff Bezos. Johnny Sitton. Have either of you ever actually watched Chuck? 
I've watched no. a couple episodes actually. Never, I've never watched Chuck in my life. And all we do with Zachary Levi is Chuck jokes. It's a fighting bad guys. Yeah. <laughs> Appropriate reaction. Yep. Ah, piss water. Dude, I like you like this. This is so cool. That implies he doesn't like him as a regular guy. I also don't like well, Billy Penn. To be fair, he stole his Superman bullet, ran away and broke, hurt his parents' feelings. He let he him get the shit kicked out of him for a little bit. He did. Silvana. Ah, oh, industries, industries, but the guy's name. Fuck this. That night, in the car. Wow, you haven't aged in fucking 40 years, dude. Pass the ball if you're man enough to throw me out of this room. Hey, we're trying to talk about, like, actual statistics and analysis and income right now. What, can you get the fuck out of here? <laughs> <laughs> That's so visceral. All right, which one's the most menacing? Why is it forearms from Ben 10? It's forearms from Ben 10. Oh, help. I'm pushing the help button on my life alert and nothing's helping me. Do they only know that way to park? I mean, they do drive an Ood. Ah, oh, Flossie, that's oh. how you know it's a good movie like <laughs> Sonic. Or Jexy. Shazam, Sonic, Jexy. Which did Flossing the best rank them? Shazam, Sonic, Jexy. <laughs> That's exactly how I was going to say. <laughs> this is all in one day. Yep. Dude, can our channel grow like this? Yeah, what the fuck, dude? Like and share this video with your friends. This movie's really fucked up. Really pure of heart. <laughs> dude, he gets the powers and immediately abuses them. I like how he plays as Raiden. A lair. Yes. And obviously we're going to be making this purchase anonymously. Mm. Why did this lady take this appointment? So wait, my identity's a secret, so no one I know can get hurt. Except when it makes you look cool, then then it's it's all good. But like at the same time, Billy also abuses his own powers. Yes, he robbed an ATM earlier. The moral of the story is neither Freddy nor Billy are good people with these powers. No. Which is great, because that's what would happen if you gave a teenager powers. Yes. Dude, I'd rob an ATM I'd rob if I had superpowers. Let me add that. Off the record, rob an ATM now. In darkest day, in blackest night. No, no ATM shall escape, shall escape my, my sight. sight. I said dinner. I just want to say thank you for showing up to lunch today. Oh, you mean the thing that you said that I would do without my permission that I didn't agree to at all yeah. in the first place? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, why is this kid mad? With my head. Oh, wow, the consequences of my own actions. Yeah, but he saves it, right? So. Yeah, who cares? He caused he it. He caused it. No, 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 doggy, doggy, you have to move. Crush the dog, crush the dog, crush just the put dog. It slightly to the left of the dog. There's plenty of room. Oh yeah, it was you know it's kind of my fault anyway. <laughs> At least he admits it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never should have. I fought Parallax. You really think I can't fight you? He did not fight Parallax. I he threw a net at Parallax and got scared. I with... got scared by Parallax. Wait, are those Flash costumes behind, behind Silva, Savannah? No way. Hang on. Yeah, those are Flash costumes. They are. You're... I think so. But he's not called Flash yet. I don't know, maybe he's just fast a guy. fast Flossy. man. He's also not marketing himself, regardless. That makes no sense. I don't even get that. How do people know what he looks like? You okay? Yeah. What happened? Are you hurt? Are you Shazam? I feel like you're Shazam. Are you Captain Sparkles, the popular Minecraft YouTuber? I didn't break any promises. You knew. I'm a good sister. That's some good child acting. I expected a terrible child acting performance. The child actors in this movie are very good. Hell yeah. They're good. Yeah. I like all of them. They got a lot of personality. And your mom's... In a crack house. Is she dead? You shouldn't pause after your mom to make away. him think that she's dead. That's she's what that means. two subway stops away. Wow. Are we talking about Subway or Subway the Sandwich Shop? <laughs> and your mom, she's... She lives next door. She's roughly your three D'Angelo's from here. Your mom... Is me. Is our foster mom the whole time. Literally Black Adam. <laughs> yeah, he... Okay, I wasn't sure. He was one. supposed to be the villain of this movie. Yeah, yep. he was. You can definitely tell. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to tell. Like, it's yep. everything about the character. Who the fuck cares about Savannah? <laughs> Plus, he lightning those cops. It's not a Savannah thing. That's a Black Adam thing. Yep. I like how you see it from bif different perspectives. Yeah. Like, he remembers it perfectly. Now that I'm rewatching it, the opening scene was, like, fluffy and kind of hallmarky. Yeah, and there's, like, a f the fucking angelic glow over it. Yep, and now it's, like, a Zack Snyder movie. But you're good, right? I mean, you landed on your feet. Shazam! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking throws her through the window! <laughs> and I land on my feet now! <laughs> this movie is darker than the, uh, all the movies that tried to be dark and gritty. <laughs> this scene's darker than should I have just let all those kids die? Maybe. That's not even dark. Well, that's just funny. That's funny as shit. <laughs> I get no dark feeling from that scene. The one thing that I don't like about them is that they all look remotely similar. They look like the monsters from the 2007 TMNT movie. 
Pedro, come on. Ready? Ready? Keep up. Yeah, tell the kid with the limp, keep up. You can just pick him up and pick him up. You can carry one kid, make it the one that can't walk. <laughs> I prefer Robert Pattinson. Can I go to Crocodile World? Not Crocodile World! No, I wasn't Crocodile World. Crocodile World was on the left. Oh, thank God. Oh man, oh man, I just spit on a baby! Whoa! I'm so evil! Oh. Here, take this compass. It's the best prize. You can find your way home or whatever. Emotional payoff. Your dad actually loves you and wants you. Like all parents, haha. It's good to know flight in movies is like not as bad as it was. It used to be awful. You remember the Matrix 3? Uh, even that animation just then was uh, kind of shaky. Yeah, but it wasn't like that scene from the Matrix where Smith goes... It, well, it, it's <laughs> Smith go... <laughs> One day it will look real. One day it will. I don't think we'll I think alive. the thing is that we know people can't fly, so it always looks kind of weird to us. I believe people can fly. I'm sorry, have you tested every person in the world? That's what I thought. Checkmate. Got him. I can fly. Yeah, but I know. I, I just have to believe hard enough. Oh my god, Ian, I can fly. You can fly. We can fly. Therefore, I everyone can fly. fly. How do you know everyone voted if I didn't vote? <laughs> I love this part. I love the shazam -ally. Unite the six. <laughs> Just <laughs> like Justice League. Fun fact, there's supposed to be seven. Black Adam's supposed to be the last one. Yep. There are two DC movies that do seven wrong. Yeah, but at least this one didn't market themselves on like, Unite the shazam -ally, and then the Z was a seven. Dude, I've studied the fighting techniques of every single superhero. I've studied the abs of Aquaman. Next snapping of Superman. You're like a mile away from me right now. There's cars and trucks. I will have the world eating out of the palm of my hand. All I see is mouth moving. Sounds like our reviews. <laughs> ah, Dawn of Justice, I see. This kid liked that movie, I guess. He's like the one. I was really hoping. The one thing I don't like is he doesn't have Superman hit Batman and then just throw his Batman toy across the room. <laughs> throw his Batman in a fucking coffin. I understand. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. Uh, fucking floating head. Let him fall. Bruce, why do we fall? So we can get back up again. And I got... It's not how Tom Thumpin' by Chumbawamba goes. What good's power if you got nobody to share it with? Arguably better. He's going to walk up and be like, are these kids still bothering you? It's CGI fucking lip from Justice League is it's placed on his face. just the lip, face. not Superman, just the mouth. Ah! That is not Henry Cavill at all. That is not his body shape. Wow. Either. I'll go first. I'll give it an eight. I think it's a great fucking movie. I think the fact that we barely spoke during it says a lot. We talked a lot. We did, but like Ian and I talked a lot. I don't know. I, I sat with like my mouth shut. I just oh, enjoyed no, it's the a great thing. film. Don't it's so wrong. enjoyable. There's um, so much to like about it. There's so much to like. The only thing that for me. So, I think this movie and Aquaman are both same eights, but this movie, based off of how, like the fun and like the little ridiculous stuff, but Aquaman's better directed than this movie. I feel. I feel like this movie has a few little things that I'm like, okay, it's a little more. I don't want to say like bad directed, but it's more like normal where you don't notice like the really really. Remember those scenes in Aquaman where like the cool transition shots and like all the yeah yeah yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? This movie feels a little bit cheaper. I'll say. Would it's because it is. It. So I'm going to fire in and say this is an eight. This is absolutely my favorite DCEU film. What I think works for me above Aquaman in this film is emotional payoff. Because we there don't get of much of payoff. that yeah. in DCEU films because there's no emotion. But, like, seriously, that scene where he meets his mom and she's basically just like, fuck off. I don't want a kid. Holy shit. I just want to give that kid a hug. It's like, man. Yeah, that shit breaks my heart. Like, yeah. dude, you know that scene in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air where his dad Whoa, leaves again? Oh, and he starts. That like, fuck. You just feel for that kid, you know? I, that scene alone is what boosts it for me from a 7 to an 8. Just that emotional payoff yeah, of him finally. Of and it's very good pacing and shit where it's just like, that happens and then he immediately goes into that final fight. And it's like, Man, you see how much he's just using the rage of what just happened to him to beat this guy. And I also really appreciate, like, the overarching themes of, like, power Family. and desire and what that can, like, do to corrupt a man. Yeah. Like, you see, like, the power and desire corruption happened with Freddy when that had that argument after the, he saved the bus. Um, yeah. And they had that little, like, spat. He just talked about how, like, yeah, you no know, shit, I want to be you. That's, like, that yeah, whole no kind of— Yeah, no shit, I yeah. wanted to be—like, it's— 
imagine dedicating your whole life to understanding something and somebody else gets picked. Yeah, like, that's Jake. Sucks. It's like it's like if it's you, like if uh, me all of a sudden became trust grandmaster for no reason. I'd be pissed. It's like if Jake <laughs> was drafted to pen the next the Song of Ice and Fire show. I'd be infuriated. It's yeah. like if I was tapped to write a Green Lantern show. Yeah, Ian would kill me. Actually, Ian. That'd be me right now, actually. Yeah. Actually, Ian would be jealous, but he would be your biggest champion. Like, do not fuck this up. Yeah, man. I'd be the same way with you. I'd be like, I will fucking kill you yeah. if you screw if this you up. If you fuck up Green Lantern, we'll not get it for another 10 years. Yeah. But, um, also, this movie budget, 80 to 100 million. That's pretty expensive. That's cheap for a superhero that, movie. Sockwam is probably like two. Like, that's oh, yeah. Cheap. Was expensive. That is cheap for a superhero film. Yes, it is. Especially one with CG like this. I think it's to its benefit that it's cheap. Because I agree. they get to focus on the good stuff, which is the characterization. Because at the end of the day, the family, the Shazamily, feels so well fleshed out and so well developed. The emotional center of this film is what does it for me. And they still have some really dark fucking moments. Like yeah, this movie's surprisingly dark. Yeah, it is. Yeah, remember when he threw that dude out the fucking window? Honestly, it kind of reminds me of the the X-Men movies, because the X-Men movies can be brutal. So, 8 out of 10, this is absolutely my favorite DC film so um, far. It's a mix between this and Aquaman. Um, sadly, out of the ones that we've seen, I don't think there's competition coming up. Yeah, no. I am definitely the biggest fan of Birds of Prey, of the three of us. It doesn't hold a candle to Shazam or Aquaman or Wonder Woman, which are the top three. I think it's absolute shite. That's but... fine. Yeah, I think we all agree that Shazam, Birds of... Uh, sorry, Shazam, Aquaman, and... Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman are yep. the top, top three. Top three. And Wonder Woman 84 banged. So, honestly... <laughs> um... Yeah, you're right. I'd put 84 up there. We can do it. We'll do a ranking after 84. How about yep. that? At the end of the 84 review we yep. do a ranking that's well that's the end of the thought so, so so far in this thought i put shazam at the top yeah um shazam and aquaman i don't know what's the like what i like more because they're different movies they fulfill a different need in me are you guys excited for birds of prey absolutely yes, not absolutely okay sounds like a good review to me <laughs>